Hello, this is Ball Racing with a quick report about the Robert Kubica situation. Um, as of lately, Daniel Kvyat and Pascal Verlaine have emerged as contenders to Robert Kubica for a seat at Williams. Um, there are actually rumours that uh, have cropped up recently that Lance Stroll and his father Lawrence could withdraw their funding from the team and Lance Stroll could well leave Williams at the end of this season but those rumours are unsubstantiated so potentially Robert Kubica uh, that might make Robert Kubica's chances easier because some uh, there have been media reports that have said that Lawrence Stroll does apparently feel uncomfortable about him having Robert Kubica drive alongside his son Lance for some reason it's not very well explained because it's a rumour but of course, as it stands, of course, Daniel Crevier, the man who who has two podium finishes to his name, have been driven for Toro Rosso and Red Bull, is has been announced as a contender for a seat at Williams next season, whilst Pascal Verloid, who has three points finishes to his career so far, having driven for Mana last year and Salva this year, is apparently a contender in spite of the fact that both Crevier and Bernard are both under the age of 25 years old which of course is a, a contentious issue because of the fact that um, Martini demand at least one of their drivers to be 25 years old if the other one's under 25 like Lance Stroll is who is who has only turned 19 um, only turned 19 yesterday of course he pulled out he managed to drive the best race of his career first fall with a sixth place finish splitting the two force indians which i have to say really where i mean really was impressive when you consider the fact that felipe massa on the other, on the other hand was nowhere to be seen of course mr big mouth himself felipe massa claimed that he just simply couldn't understand why on earth williams were pursuing kubica and paul de resta and then, of course, you know, he goes out and drives as badly as he did um, yesterday. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, of course, Paul Blirester is himself another contender. Um, he picked up two fourth place finishes in his time at Four Senior, having driven for them for three years. He was outpaced by Adrian Suto and then Nico Hulkenberg in his first two years, but then he turned the tables on Adrian Suto in his third season. But apparently, he had a he was criticised for behaving like a prima donna, where he well well apparently shouted over the radio, "Oh, this car is a can't go any faster." Just really, his attitude was very much pivotal in getting him dropped from the Force India team. Um, of course, sit recent. Of course, he returned to the DTM series where he was the champion back in 2010. Just like Pascal Verlon became DTM champion in 2015, but of course, he's also been Williams reserve driver and he's been doing simulator work for them. And well, you know, all I want to say is I really want to see Robert Kubits are back in Formula One. I really do. It would be just something so extraordinary to see him back with his messed up right hand. <laughs> you know, I just it would just be an amazing story if he could win a race again. Just amazing. It would be such good publicity for Formula 1 as a whole, especially with all the bad news stories you've had with, you know, the death of George Bianchi, the controversy of the Halo... All this, all the stuff you gave Formula Award, it can be quite miserable to say the least. But you know, I would love to see him back. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.